Happy Monday! It's been a while since I posted a CVS video on Monday, but I got back in town late last night, so I had to go to CVS later on in the day, but I wanted to go ahead and get these deals out for you guys, so let's go in store and grab these deals. We're gonna start off with this Neutrogena deal. I was hoping my store had the $6.79 wipes in the makeup section, but they only have the $7.29 variety. But if you buy two of the $7.29 variety and you have two of those $4 printables from coupons.com, I'm not sure if they're still available, but you can check on there and see. If you have any of those or any digitals, you can buy two of these for $14.98. Use two of those $4 coupons. Pay $6.58, get back a $6 extra buck. But since I have a 5 off 20 Neutrogena Makeup CRT, I'm going to grab one of these concealers for $12.79 and one of these wipes for $7.29, putting me at $20.08. I'm going to use two of those $4 printables. I think I have a digital as well, so I'll use one of each and then a 5 off 20 Maybelline. So I'll pay $7, get back 6 making it a cost of $1.08, which is not bad for these products. Next, I noticed I had three random Neutrogena Acne Wash CRTs. I had two three-off Neutrogena Facial Care as well as one three-off 10. So if I would have picked up one of these oil-free acne washes and used all three of those CRTs, it would have been a final cost of 99 cents. But instead, I'm going to buy this face wash for $5.69, use those two three-off CRTs, and it'll be completely free after those CRTs marked down. Keep your eyes out for 29 cent hand sanitizer. There was this brand in my store as well as a, the paparazzi brand in the travel and trial size. So if you need that for a stocking stuffer or whatever you want, these are great items to pick up. Next, if you want to turn some of your extra bucks in back into cash by using Ibotta, you can pick up one of these Revlon Kiss Bombs for $5.79. Use the $3 instant coupon everyone got today. And then redeem on Ibotta for $2, making it a final cost of 79 cents. But that $3 in extra care bucks that you used to pay is now $2 in cash, which is pretty amazing. There are no extra buck deals on the Revlon tools, but I'm going to pick up one of these eyelash curlers for $6.49. I really need one. So I have a 3 off 6 Revlon eye tools and a $3 off any Revlon cosmetics that will apply, leaving me only to pay $0.49 cents for this, and I feel like it's a great price. I don't have any paparazzi CRTs, but this week it's free for everyone because paparazzi is on an unadvertised deal of buy two, get a $5 extra care buck, and you can do the deal twice. I end up picking up two lavender cuticle creams. Be careful with these because they do not ring up two for five at checkout, even though they are marked two for five. So at the register, I'll pay $5 in extra care bucks plus tax and get back $5 in extra care bucks, making these completely free. I ended up grabbing more of these later, but I forgot to film it. So keep in mind that you can do this deal twice per each account that you have. Shout out to Savvy Coupon Shopper for this next deal. These Gillette Foamies are included in the buy one, get one 50% off. And when you buy two, you get a $5 extra care buck promotion. So these are only priced at $3.39 in my store. So one of them will ring up $3.39, the other one will be $1.69. So the total will be $5.08 for both of them. So at the register, I'll pay or roll $5 in extra care bucks, get back a $5 extra care buck, making the final cost for these just $0.08 cents for both. The easiest deal you can do this week is on Colgate Toothpaste. There's quite a few varieties that are priced at two for $7.98. And on our accounts, we got a $7.98 digital off of two. So if you use that digital, you'll pay nothing at checkout and get these for completely free. My store was completely out except for this one bottle over here. So I was not able to pick it up today. Hallmark cards are on promotion again this week for buy three, get a $3 extra care buck. They got Christmas cards in, but my store doesn't have any 99 cent cards. They don't even have any Christmas two for four cards, which is kind of sad, but they have Thanksgiving and Halloween as well. I was hoping to find three 99 cent cards and then I would roll $3 in extra care bucks and get back a $3 extra care buck. And since they didn't have any 99 cent options, all of my CRTs were like four off eight, so it didn't really work for any of the deals. So I had to leave these today. But if you have a three off two CRT, purchase three of them that are priced at $2. You'll use that CRT, pay $3 at checkout, and get back a $3 extra care buck. 
or if your store has 99 cent cards, they do work for the promotion. If you have that three off two CRT, you'll pay nothing at checkout and get back a $3 extra care buck, making them completely free in a moneymaker. Completely random, but I did not know that CoverGirl had eyelash curlers. These are priced at $5.49 in my store. I have a three off CoverGirl CRT. So if I bought two of them, it'd be $10.98. I'd use that CRT. Pay $7.98, get back a $6 extra care buck for buying two, making the final cost $0.99 cents a piece, which is not bad. But you can find these at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they have CoverGirl brand, but since I went ahead and picked up that Revlon one, I left these in the store. But I didn't think that was a bad price or a bad deal, considering I could pay with extra care bucks. This week, hauls are on sale two for $4.25, and we have $1.50 printables if you still have some from a couple weeks ago from coupons.com. So if I use two of those, I'll pay $1.25, get back a dollar in extra care bucks, as well as $1 for each bag on checkout day one, making it a $1.75 moneymaker, and we definitely need that this week because there's not a lot of moneymakers going on, in my opinion, based on my CRTs. If you don't have those dollar and fifty cent printables, you can use two one dollar coupons from this past week's inserts. Pay two twenty five at checkout, get back a dollar extra care buck and two dollars from checkout fifty one, making it a seventy five cent money maker, which also is not bad. This week we have a spend twenty, get a five dollar extra care buck, and Febreze car clips and small spaces are included. And we have a buy one get one free coupon. You can also get the sprays. I'm gonna grab two of the car clips for two ninety nine a piece. So that'll be $5.98 for both of them, but I'll use that BOGO free coupon and making them just $2.99 for two or $1.49 a piece, but this is gonna be in our big scenario. So let's go ahead and grab the other products we're gonna need. I don't end up recording it, but I grabbed two Tide Pods for $4.94 a piece because I went ahead and wanted to grab two. I was definitely happy to see that $2 manufacturer coupon in the P&G back on the Tide because that $1 one just wasn't doing it for me. To finish off the scenario, I went and grabbed two of the small spaces. They're priced at $2.99 as well. So my total for all the products I decided to grab were $21.81. I guess I did record me grabbing the other one. I'm going to use two $2 coupons on the Tide and two buy one get one free coupons on the Febreze products. That'll take off $2.99 a piece. So at the register, I'll pay $11.86, give back a $5 extra care buck, making the final cost $6.86 for all of them, or just $1.14 a piece, which is not bad. I accidentally left my coupon on the printer for the Carefree, Stay Free, and Tampax products, but they're on promotion this week. Buy one, get one 50% off, and when you spend $12, you get a $3 extra care buck, and we're expecting a little glitch on these. So if I purchase two of these Carefree products that are pressed at $8.29 a piece, those will total me at the register $12.43. We have a three off two digital coupon and we have a three off two printable coupon that you can get down below. And I have a three off 12 CRT. So for me, I would pay $3.43 at checkout, get back a $3 extra care buck, making it just 43 cents for both or 21 cents a piece, which is amazing. I'll have to come back for this deal because I'll have need my printable coupon for the glitch to happen. There's also these stay free pads up here if you want something a little bit more expensive. This is kind of a small haul for today, but this is everything we're grabbing. Let's go home and check out our deals. Please excuse my mess on this table, but this is everything I was able to grab today from CVS. I was able to grab $140 worth of products for about $7 today, and I'm super excited about like, the things I was able to grab. Hopefully you have CRTs or better deals than me that you can do this week at CVS. It was kind of a hard week for me based on my CRTs, but I did the best I could, and this is what I came up with. So let's take a look at these receipts to see how we did. On this receipt, I had the Neutrogena Daily Cleanser. That's that right there. Got that for completely free with those two CRTs, the two Gillette products, the two paparazzis. Oh, sorry, the four paparazzis, the Neutrogena um, remover wipes, and the Neutrogena concealer. And then I had that rash, lash curl that I got for 49 cents. All of my coupons and everything scanned great. The only thing I had to do was I had a $1.50 coupon also attaching on one of the Neutrogena wipes. So I had the cashier scan the product, then scan the coupon, so I could ensure the $4 would come off instead of the $1.50. My 5 off 20 came off, my 3 off 6 were at Blonde Tools. My two $3 off Neutrogena facials, the one adjusted down to make this completely free. Um, and then I had that $3 off Revlon Cosmetics. 
for the tools. And then I rolled $22.65 on a gift card and an extra care bucks. And I got back $21 in extra care bucks. You can see down here. Got back five for the Gillette, six for the Neutrogena, and 10 for the Paparazzi. Making this receipt right here a final cost of $1.65, which I thought was pretty good for the items that I got. Like these are pretty expensive things. So I'm super excited about that transaction. This transaction has the hauls and the spend 20 get five, as well as a little snack. I'll take that off because I just bought that for me. Um, all of my coupons worked out great. Two tied dark, two tied coupons, two two ninety nine coupons that were for the Febreze, um, and two dollar fifty hauls coupons. I rolled fourteen dollars and eleven cents in extra care bucks and on a gift card. And on this receipt, I got back. Five dollars in extra care bucks for the spent twenty, and one dollar in extra care bucks for the hauls, as well as two dollars over on checkout fifty one for the hauls, making the final cost on this receipt six dollars and eleven cents. But I got all that for Breeze and the laundry products, so I'm super excited about that transaction because I thought that was a pretty great deal with no CRTs. This is gonna work out a little bit different for everybody. Me and my cashier were just kind of playing around with this to see how it would work. For these, for the buy one, get one free um, paper coupon to glitch with the $5.99 coupon, you can't have a value over the price of the second item. So for example, we have a three off two on this for that instant coupon we got last week. And we knew that buy one, get one free on the app was gonna take off $5.99. So that totaled $8.99. That meant in my car, I only had $2.99 left for anything to attach to. So I had to make sure that the cashier only put in $2.99 here and not $3.99, because that $3.99 would have bumped off this CRT and I would have had to pay $1.99. So if you're not comfortable asking your cashier to put in a certain number on a um, coupon, obviously this is up to like $5.99. So it doesn't really matter what they put, they're still gonna get the same value back. But to make it work with the glitch, you're gonna have to get them to put in whatever is left of the second item for it to glitch correctly, if that makes sense. So I knew that I only had $2.99 left, so that's what they put in. I paid zero plus tax out of pocket and I got some aluminum free secret for free. This is one of the first scenarios I did. I really just went up there to see if paparazzi was a limit of one or a limit of two. And you can see here, I rolled $5, got back my $5, and then it said it was tracking towards my next reward. So I knew it was a limit of two. So this transaction ended up being completely free, which was super exciting. I'm definitely stocking up um, for Christmas gifts. Also, this is the hand lotion. Um, and the cuticle cream, just be mindful. I had to tell them to price modify this because it says two for five on the sign, but they were not ringing up two for five. So just be mindful of that when you're checking out and make sure you get that extra little bit of savings. On my last receipt, I have the hauls, the Gillette and the paparazzi again, and then the Neutrogena face wipes on this account. I use that $4 Neutrogena digital, and then the two $1.50 printables from coupons.com. Hopefully you have those printed from before. And then I have a $4 uh, manufacturer coupon on the other wipes. And then down here, I rolled seven, I rolled $18.51 between extra care bucks and on a gift card. And I got back $17 in extra care bucks, five for paparazzi, um, one for hauls, two for, or six for Neutrogena, uh, five for Gillette. And then I also got back $2 on checkout 51. So I paid out 18.51, got back $19, making this a 49 cent money maker, which is exciting because I didn't have any other money makers this week. This haul completely after it's all said and done, ended up costing me $7.27. And that makes each item about 27 cents, which I think is awesome especially for expensive items and things we don't get very often. So I'm super thrilled with this week at CVS. It was kind of a slower week for me and my CRTs, but I definitely made it work and I'm hoping that you are able to as well. I didn't have any eight off forties or four off thirties or anything to work with. So this was the best that I could do. I hope that you're able to score this week at CVS. If you are, go ahead and give this video a like 
subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.